every day I'll choose Jesus I will follow you Let everything I do Honor you every day I'll trust and obey Every word you say Cause I know
Traded heaven's crown 
Welcome back to King's Church this week. Hope you've had an amazing week so far. As you can see, I am still out mountain biking recently, so it's been lots of fun. Very tiring though, I've just come up the hill, so you have to excuse me. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great week today. Uh, I hope you learn lots of lessons and have an amazing time. Bye. Jingle in the trunk. This challenge begins with 12 jingle bells loaded inside an empty tissue box attached to the waist directly above the <clears throat> Butius Maximus. By shaking, dancing, prancing or doing the jingle bell hop, the contestant must get all 12 bells to exit the box. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. Hey kids church, I hope you're doing well. It's time for the 30 second workout. So, the one we're doing stretches out this muscle here and this muscle here. So, what you want to do is get your foot out like this, so it's at an angle, and then you put your hands out and you lean down. And you step forward with the other foot. And you can really feel the stretch right here. So, let's do it for 30 seconds. You ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Bing! You can walk around if you want to, like this. The key is to not do it too fast. Okay. Cool, guys. Thank you for um, doing my 30 second workout, and I hope you enjoy the others, if there's others. See ya! The story of Christmas, Jesus and the Shepherds. This is Jesus. Jesus is the son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary and Joseph. Jesus was born in a barn 
because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them, uh -oh. and a bright light shone all around them. <gasps> the shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. Uh, what just happened? And the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village you stay there. and found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow! <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the Savior of the world, the Son of God. What was your favorite part of that story? I love the part when all the angels showed up and sang to God, just like we do during worship time. Now get ready, we're gonna learn some more about Jesus and the shepherds from Pastor Katie. When the shepherds met Jesus and realized he was the savior of the world, they knew they couldn't keep that good news to themselves. This reminds me of a Bible verse in the book of Mark. It goes like this, Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. <laughs> Why don't you say it too? Just repeat after me. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. <laughs> Great job. After the angels told the shepherds about Jesus, the shepherds were so excited they ran to meet God's son. They couldn't wait to see him. And once they found him, they couldn't wait to share the good news with everyone. The good news about Jesus is like a gift. When you're excited about something, a really great gift, you don't keep it a secret, you share it. Think about it. You wake up on Christmas morning and you sprint down the stairs and there under the tree, you see it, a big, beautifully wrapped gift with your name on it. So you open the box, and inside you find, mm. ooh, wow, cool, it's a robot. I love this. I'm gonna tell my friend Grant about this one. Wait, yes, mm. it's a stuffed llama, fun. Hmm, oh, oh, this is a big one. Cool, wow, this is a really big tool. I'm gonna tell my dad about this. I think he could use this. That's neat. Ooh, yes, I need this one. Mm. Huh. It's a bike helmet. Now I can ride my bike with my friends. Neat. Then one more. Ooh, um, oh, yes, cool. It's a bat. I'm gonna tell my friend Sarah about this one. She really likes baseball. <laughs> God gave us an amazing gift on the first Christmas. His son, Jesus, he came to earth to show us how to live and love God's way. That's a gift to get excited about, just like the shepherds did. When you choose to trust in and follow Jesus, you receive him as a gift. 
He forgives your sin and makes you friends with God. He fills you with the power of the Holy Spirit and helps you live for Him so that you can make choices like sharing the gift of His good news with everyone around you. That's why we say, every day, I make choices that honor Jesus. Let's remember our point from earlier. Come on, say it with me. Every day, I make choices that honor Jesus. On Christmas, we celebrate the best Christmas gift ever given, God's Son, Jesus. And one of the best ways we can celebrate and honor Jesus is by sharing the good news with other people. Do you wanna learn more about what it means to honor Jesus and share the good news? If so, all you need to do is talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Families, let's say our Bible verse before we go. I'll say it first, and you can join in if you remember it. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. <laughs> all right, now everybody say it with me this time. Come on. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. <laughs> Great job. That verse reminds us to be excited about Jesus like the shepherds and go out and share the good news about Him with everyone. I had a great time having church with you. I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. When they pop up on the screen, just pause the video and have a little chat. See you later. Hope you had so much fun in the session today and we'll see you next week. Bye!